Sony and Microsoft fanboys when the Wii U releases you have my permission to cry Welcome to Nintendo Opinions. We're going to be talking about the recent Nintendo news, starting off with, could the Wii U be getting a name change? The reason for this being is they don't want to confuse consumers the same way that they confuse people that the 3DS might just be an, another DS, so it's not an upgrade. And this is the same issue that they could be having with the Wii and the Wii U. Their names being so similar, people may not realize that one is far better than the other, and they may not want to upgrade. Additionally, I think they should change the name to the Nintendo Revolution, what the code name for the Wii was. It's a great name, it's very, very cool. However, I, I mean, perhaps that would not be the best name because the Wii U is not as revolutionary as the Wii was, but still, I think it's a great name, and uh, Nintendo should probably use it. They should just have some really cool name, because the Wii U wasn't that cool, and it's just a bland name. In other news, Nintendo has also said that they are going to have, I forget what the uh, uh, abbreviation was, but it's like NPG a functionality to their uh, Wii U controllers, and I don't fully understand it, but I'm pretty sure what it is is it allows the controller, it enhances its communication abilities. And I think they, an example of what it can do is kind of like the uh, Spyro Skylanders thing. The controller is able to recognize like objects in real life and bring that into the game. So that's pretty cool. It's, I heard it's kind of like it's augmented reality. And it kind of works in that aspect. I don't see it being used a whole lot, but it's cool nevertheless. Now, the biggest news in the past week is the online Nintendo Network. It sounds so good and so cool because essentially what it is is it's Xbox Live for Nintendo for free. Yes, it is for free. It's amazing. Um, all what it's going to do is it's an, an uh, account-based service. So, uh, for example, if mine was Nintendo opinions 25 I could um, log on to that and I could have access to my Club Nintendo account and I've heard uh, an example given that sounds really great and it really showcases the strong point of the Wii U is going to be its multitasking abilities the example given was let's say you're playing Zelda or something and then somebody, wa you're playing Zelda on your two control, the controller and the TV screen, and you're having fun. Then somebody else walks into the room and picks up the second Wii U controller. And yes, Nintendo has confirmed that you can have two Wii U controllers connected at once. So while you're playing Zelda, your sister walks into the room and she picks up the second Wii U controller. And while you're playing the game, you do not have to leave it. She can access her own N Nintendo Network account. And she can just start scrolling through the uh, ebooks or anything that she's purchased on her account. She can access it while you're playing. And it's just a great multitasking. Sounds really, really great for the Wii U. And I hope that follows through. And then another key feature is that you will be able to have downloadable content, DLC, finally, for the Wii U, I mean. And um, this, both of these features are going, well, the Nintendo Network is going to be available for the 3DS as well as the Wii U. And in addition, it can also offer downloadable retail games. So what that means is if the new Mario 25 comes out, and you want to be able to get it, but you don't want to go to the store, you can just go on to your Nintendo Network account, go to the eShop or whatever, and you can download it straight to your console. And this is a way to prevent piracy in some ways, but they're not going to do it, release it immediately, because of their having issues with like retail stores. I'm sure GameStop's going to have a lot of complaints about this. And so that's the, that's the main news. Um, now it's time for a little 
commentary and that recent, there's been a lot of rumors about the Xbox 720 and how it's only only 20% more powerful than the Wii U, uh, which has been compared to the PlayStation 3 and the 360. PlayStation 3 was only about 20% more than the Xbox, and the difference is hardly noticeable, which is fantastic for next, next generation, for all the consoles to be on the same level of power, which is it's unbelievable. However, it has also been pretty well confirmed that this rumor is false and that if the graphics card graphics processing unit provided in the rumor if that's actually the one being used it's weaker than the Wii U which is that'd be even better but because then all the fanboys would get to go bite themselves additionally you guys with all these new rumors and uh, things coming out about the Nintendo Network being released, and then Satoru Iwata recently stated that it is the Wii U is definitely coming out in all regions before Christmas, and if you watch Dark Cloud 1983's recent video about Nintendo Network, you should definitely check him out, you guys. He knows, he knows what he's talking about, and he knows his Nintendo stuff, and he gets insider info because he's a shareholder. And basically, I think he might know what the release date is, because several times in that video, he stated November, 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 November. So I, I'm fully expecting the Wii U to be released in November, but I, I'm just so excited, you guys, and I hope you are too. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and continue to send in different send in all your ideas for the Wii U in my previous video. You guys I really appreciate those. I'm gonna I haven't established I hadn't given a due date for those videos, but I I'm probably gonna say like the first week of March, maybe the first Friday of March, just to give you guys plenty of time to make those videos and just so I can procrastinate on editing them. Alright, thanks you guys. I'll talk to you guys later.